Before I get started on this episode of Virtual Classroom, I would like to give a shout out to my fiance Melissa. She created this company t-shirt for me. Right now we're working on getting some better vinyl and seeing which one holds up the best before we start selling t-shirts, but we're one step closer to getting some company merch made. On today's episode of Virtual Classroom, we're going to be talking about the Grey Rat Snake. The one I have is known as a White Oak Phase Grey Rat Snake, which is a natural color mutation. Grey Rat Snakes are from North America. They are primarily found in the southeastern United States. They normally range from 3 feet to 6 feet long, but the largest on record was 8 foot 10 inches. It was a captive one at the Rudley 4-H Center in Tennessee. In the wild, rat snakes live about 10 to 15 years, but they have been documented to live up to 30 in captivity. Unlike other rat snake species found in the United States, the gray rat snake actually keeps their juvenile pattern. Gray rat snakes are an egg laying species. They lay anywhere from 5 to 27 eggs. They are a semi arboreal species, meaning that they do climb. They are just as much at home on the ground as they are up in trees. And in the United States, normally if you have to question how that snake got there, it's normally a rat snake. They live in all kinds of environments. It's not uncommon to find them in grassy fields, dense forests, or even old barns or in urban neighborhoods. Rat snakes are known as a cathermal species, meaning they're active during both the day and at night time. As babies, they tend to prey on small rodents, along with frogs and lizards. As adults, they mainly prey on small mammals, along with birds and even bird eggs. Like many rat snake species, the gray rat snake is sometimes called the chicken snake because they get into chicken coops and will eat the eggs. Gray rat snakes are non-venomous constrictors. What they do is they wrap around their prey and constrict it before consuming it. And the way they hunt is by scent. What they do is they pull in air particles with their tongue and they use what's called the Jacobson's gland to taste the different air particles and know what's around them. Normally if you see a rat snake in your yard, it's doing its job and it's out looking for rodents. And the best thing you can do is just leave them alone and give them space and let them go on about their day. When threatened, rat snakes will, cr will cool their bodies up and start lifting up off the ground and they'll wiggle their tails and leaves to try to make that sound like a rattlesnake rattle. Rat snakes are still considered common in most of their native range. But a few states have listed them as threatened or a species of concern. And in the state of Georgia, they're protected like all non-venomous snake species. Aside from native predators, one of their main threats is habitat loss and humans. Snakes are here to serve a purpose and they have no intentions to cause humans harm. The best thing you can do is give them space and leave them alone. And let it go on about its day. Snakes mean us no harm and they really don't want anything to do with us. The main reason people get bit is because the snake got startled and it's acting in self-defense. I hope you enjoyed this episode about gray rat snakes. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with what we're doing. And if you have any questions, comments, or cool stories, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And share some of the information you learned today with a friend. Thank you again for watching.